Money and Finance Explained. A crash course in economics dives into the intricacies of money and finance with our comprehensive crash course in economics. Unlock the secrets, financial systems, and understand the core principles with ease. Perfect for beginners and enthusiasts alike. Here's a question that we have been, they have been putting off, answering for quite some time. Explain money. What does money mean? In what ways do the two differ? Not to give too much away, but there are a few primary uses for money. It serves as an accounting unit, a medium of trade and a store of value. Money is more than simply coins and bills. Anything that satisfies these three requirements can qualify. Mackerel pouches are accepted as cash in U.S. jails. Government-backed fish and mackerel can be used as such, while currency such as cash, strategies, coins, and paper money cannot. Thus, after you have cash, financing is required. Interest, new money, financial lending. Borrowing, stocks, and bonds will all be covered. Money and Finance Explained, a crash course in economics. If you like more videos like these, check out Money and Finance Explained, a crash course in economics. Please comment below, like, subscribe, share, and click the link below. Join the conversation by leaving your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more game-changing content. Check out these related videos. Keep reading for more insights. Table 1. Outline of the article. Content. Money and Finance Explained. A Crash Course in Economics. Introduction to Money and Finance. What is money? The evolution of money. What is finance? Key pillars of finance. The role of money in economics. Functions of money. Medium of exchange. Store of value. Unit of account. The basics of economics. Demand and supply. How equilibrium is achieved. The importance of savings and investments. Compound interest, the eighth wonder. Global finance and economic trends. Globalization and its impact. Inflation and deflation. Conclusion, the interconnected. World of money and economics. Table 2 Money and Finance Explained. A crash course in economics. Money and Finance Explained. A crash course in economics. Introduction to Money and Finance Remember the last time you bought something? That transaction involved both cash and finance. But what are they? Let's dive in. What is money? But money is anything commonly accepted in exchange for goods and services. But it's more than just paper and coins. The evolution of money. Starting with bartering. Coins, paper money, and now digital currencies. Well, the concept is familiar. What is finance? Finance is about managing money. It covers everything from personal savings to global stock markets. Key Pillars of Finance There are three main areas. Personal Finance Managing Your Money Corporate Finance How Businesses Handle Cash and Public Finance Government Budgets and Expenditures The Role of Money in Economics Without Money Economies Wouldn't Function Let's Understand Why Functions of Money Money isn't just for spending. It plays a pivotal role in our economy. When you can use money, it simplifies trade. Store of Value Your savings aren't rotting away, right? Money maintains its value over time, mostly. Unit of account, have you ever compared? Money provides a consistent measure. The basics of economics, economic studies. Money is a key player here. When need meets supply, magic or equilibrium happens. When both sides balance, that's equilibrium. Similarly, when demand equals supply, prices stabilize. The importance of savings and investments think of money as seeds. When planted wisely, they grow. Compound interest, the eighth wonder. With compound interest, your money multiplies over time. Imagine having baby savings. Cute, right? Global finance and economic trends. As the world gets more interconnected global, trends impact our wallets more than we realize. Globalization and its impact, goods, services, and even money flows across borders now. This interconnectedness can lead to prosperity, but also to prosperity challenges. Inflation and deflation prices rising. That's inflation. Falling. Deflation. Both can have profound effects on our purchasing power. Conclusion. The interconnected. World of money and economics from the supply coins. In your pocket to global financial markets. Everything is interconnected. By understanding money and finance we can make better decisions and navigate the complex world of economics. Why is money considered a store of value? It can retain its purchasing power over time making it a reliable way to preserve wealth. What's the difference between finance and economics? Finance is about managing money while economics is how society uses resources. How does globalization affect my finances? It can influence job markets, investments, 
and the cost of goods and services you buy. Why is compound interest powerful? Due to its multiplying effect even, small savings can grow exponentially. Is digital currency the future of money? It's gaining traction, but whether it'll fully replace traditional money is yet to be seen. Advanced topics related to money and finance. Advanced financial concepts and their importance. Financial markets and their role. Financial markets. Businesses and governments. They play a crucial role in making economies grow. Bonds, stocks, and commodities. These are different investment vehicles. Bonds are loans you give out expecting. Repayment with interest. Governments and corporations issue them. Stocks represent ownership in a company. When you buy stock, you buy a piece of that company. Commodities like gold, oil, or wheat. Ever heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, that's where diversifying investments across these vehicles comes in handy. Central banks and monetary policy central. Banks like the Federal Reserve in the US US manage a country's money supply. Have you ever heard of interest rates being slashed? That's one of the tools they use. Their actions directly influence our savings, mortgages, and even job prospects. Monetary versus fiscal policy. While monetary policy is about controlling the money supply, fiscal policy revolves around government, spending, and taxation. They are two sides of the same coin guiding an economy's health, the future, cryptocurrencies, and digital. Finance digital currencies like Bitcoin are shaking the financial world. They promise decentralization and can revolutionize how transactions occur. Great potential comes excellent volatility, financial literacy, why it matters, understanding. Money and finance is more than just being savvy with savings. It's about making informed decisions in all areas of life. From planning for retirement to knowing when to take on debt, financial literacy. Trends from bartering goods to digital transactions. The concept of money and finance has, by keeping an eye on global trends, understanding the basics and continually learning, we can make the most of the opportunities presented by the world of finance. Remember, it's not just about the money. It's about the freedom and choices it brings. What are the risks associated with investing in stocks? Stock prices can be volatile. While there's potential for high returns, there's also a risk of losing your initial investment. How do central banks control inflation? They can use tools like interest rates to influence how much money is circulating. Is gold still a good investment? Gold is often seen as a safe haven asset, especially during economic downturns. However, like all investments, it's essential to research and consider its role in a diversified portfolio. How do cryptocurrencies maintain their value? Supply and demand primarily drive their value. Factors include adoption rates, technological developments, and regulatory changes. What's the first step to becoming financially literate? Start with understanding your finances, setting goals, and continuously educating yourself through books, courses, and practical experience. Money Explained. Finance for Beginners. Crash Course in Economics. Basics of Economics. Understanding Finance. Economic Principles Simplified. Money and Finance Guide. Introduction to Economics. Fundamentals of Financial Understanding. Economy Crash Course. Learning About Money. Financial Literacy Basics. Money and Finance 101. A Quick Guide to Economics. Conclusion. The Interconnected World of Money and Economics from the Coins. In your pocket to global financial markets. Everything is interconnected. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for new content.